So we have an alkene and this alkene is treated with bromine and this gives compound A pH CH double bond CH2 reacting with bromine gives compound A further A if reacted with NNH2 and 3 mole of NNH2 has been used and the second step if it is reacted with CH3I it gives product B you have to identify the structure of A and B quite easy problem all of you can do this one so let us wait for some time Yeah, you are right. So in this case, first step is addition of bromine. So you have to add two mole of bromine. So you will have pH CH, and one bromine will be added on this carbon. Another bromine gets added on this carbon. So this is the first step. Now the second step, if you take three equivalent of NNH2, so first step HBr gets out. So we will have a one double bond. Next step of NNH2 it will form another double bond here so if you use two equivalent you will have a triple bond pH C triple bond CH so we have used two equivalent of NH2 minus but the third equivalent will take this hydrogen this hydrogen is acidic hydrogen so third equivalent will take this H plus so you will have pH C triple bond C minus acetylide ion and now then in the next step it react with CH3I that is Grignard reagent, oh sorry alkyl halide. So now alkyl halide this attacks and this goes. So it will have finally pH C triple bond C CH3. So this is the product you will have in this case. This is a quite easy problem. You have to use 3 mole of NH2 minus because in the first two step it forms alkyl and in the last step it forms a acetylide ion that react with alkyl halide. Now let us discuss this problem. So let us copy first. So you have a A and this one mole of A reacts with one mole of hydrogen and gives one mole of bromine and gives C5H10Br2 and if A is treated with cold dilute chemino 4 it forms C5H12O2 now you see, we know in cold dilute chemino 4 that is 2 OH group gets added that is hydroxylation. This is very obvious if you see in this reaction 2 bromine will get added on a 1 double bond. So 1 mole bromine, you have 1 double bond, this gets added. Now you see here you have C5H10Br2, so 2 bromine has been added and in this case you see 2 OH has been added because you see the formula. You have 10 hydrogen here, you have 12 hydrogen, 2 H has been added. And now here you have 2 oxygen, so 2 OH, so this group 2 OH has been added. Now ozonolysis of A gives propanone and ethanol. You have to derive the structure of A and write down corresponding reactions. You have to derive the structure of A and corresponding reactions you can write. So ozonolysis of A gives propanone plus ethanol. This is quite easy problem. All of you can do this one. So let us take some time. Okay, so let us see. Propanone is what? You have ketone and containing three carbons that is same as acetone. So propanone is this. And you have ethanol that is CH3CHO. Now if you add these two, simple CH3 C double bond CH3. And then this side you will have CH. CH3. 
So if you add these two, you will have this compound. So this is A. Now if you do bromination, you will have one bromine added here and one bromine gets added here. So if you do bromination, one mole of bromine gets added. So you will have CH3, CCH3 and one bromine you will have here and another bromine we will have on this carbon. And if you do hydroxylation, cold dilute KMnO4, you have two OH group added on this same carbon. So if you treat with cold dilute KMnO4, now this time you will have hydroxylation that is two OH group gets added. So you will have CS3, CCS3, CS3 and hydrogen. And one OH gets added on this carbon, another OH gets added on this carbon. Very simple. So you have 5 carbon C5H12O2. So you can check the molecular formula. So 3 carbon is this side plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So C5. How many hydrogen you have? 3, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you have 12 hydrogen here. And you have 2 oxygen here. So you can check the molecular formula if you wish. Now let us discuss the next problem. These are quite easy problems. Already asked in J.